Welcome back, friends. I'm glad you came back this snowy day. Um, and I love reading you National Geographic stories because they're nonfiction. So they're real pictures about real animals, even though we're not able to see them out our windows today. Penguins live in lots of places around the world. So the author, Anne Schreiber, is going to tell us all about the different types of penguins. Because this is a nonfiction book and there's lots of pictures and different things we're going to learn, there's a table of contents. The first chapter talks about exactly what are they? What birds cannot fly? What birds spend most of their lives in the ocean but are not fish? What birds live in the coldest part of the world all year long? They swim, they march, they slide through snow. They are penguins. These penguins are called emperor penguins. But where are they? If you listen to the story about snow leopards, you know that snow leopards live in Asia. And we talked about how we're in North America, where the Great Lakes are, and south of, or south of North America, of course, is South America. You'll notice lots of penguins live along the coast of South America. They also live along the coast of Africa, the coast of Australia, and down here in Antarctica, where it's super, super cold. All penguins live between the equator and the South Pole. Now the equator is that imaginary line on our world now that divides the earth in half. So we live on the top half in um, north of the equator and all the penguins live south. But it doesn't mean that it's warm because right down here is where it's really, really, really cold. Now some live where it's very cold, some in, live in warmer places like the coasts over here of Africa or Australia. Penguins live on islands, on coasts, and even on icebergs in the sea. They just need to be near water because that's where they spend most of their lives, in the water. Not just any bird, though. Penguins are perfect for their lives at sea. They have a sleek shape for speed and a layer of blubber to keep them warm. Their, back, their black backs make them hard to see from above and their light bellies make them hard to see from below. But it's their strong, solid flippers that help them escape predators to get where they wanna go. Penguins can swim about 15 miles an hour. When they wanna go faster, they leap out of the water as they swim. It's called porpoising because that's what porpoises do. Looks like a dolphin too, doesn't it? Well, what's for dinner? Life in the ocean is fishalicious. Penguins eat a lot of fish. They have a hooked bill or a beak to help them grab their dinner. Barbs on their tongues and in their throats help them hold on to that slippery food. Would you like a drink of salty water to go with that fish? Penguins are able to clean the salt out of the ocean water. They get fresh water to drink and the salt dribbles back into the ocean. While penguins are slurping down their dinners, they have to be careful not to end up as dinner themselves. Penguins are the favorite food of marine animals, such as leopard seals and killer whales. Penguins are also in danger on land. Birds like the scura, the Australian sea eagle, and the giant pectoral eat the penguins. Even cats, snakes, foxes, and rats eat penguins if they can. Life on the land. On land, most penguins live in a large colony with thousands or even millions of other penguins. If it's cold, they huddle together. It's so warm inside, a huddle that penguins take turns, a huddle that penguins take turns moving to the outside to cool off. Well, penguins march together to get to their nesting grounds. Once they wave, strut, shake, call, nod, dance, and sing to find their mate. Most penguins stay with their mate for many years. Lots and lots of penguins together. And then a chick is born. Oh, this is a chin strap penguin chick. Most penguins lay two eggs at a time, but often only one survives. The mother and the father take turns keeping the egg warm. When it hatches, the parents keep the chick warm and fed. After a couple of weeks, hundreds or even thousands of chicks wait together while their parents go back to sea to find food. As the chicks wait, they're in constant danger from other animals. But finally, the parents return with food and they have to find their chicks in a huge crowd of baby birds. How do they do it? The baby birds sing special songs to help their parents find them. In a few months, the whole family returns to sea. The longest march. You might have seen March of the Penguins. 
For the emperor penguins, getting to their nesting grounds is really hard work. Their home is Antarctica. That's the coldest place on Earth. Emperor penguins nest much farther from the ocean than the other penguins. They must march for days and nights through snow and wind. After laying her egg, the female gives it to her male. He'll keep it warm in a flap under his belly. Unlike other penguins, the male emperor cares for the egg by himself while the female goes back to the ocean to find food. The mother is gone for more than four months. The father huddles with the other male penguins to keep himself and his egg safe and warm. During this time, the father eats nothing but snow. When the mother returns in July, the father quickly goes to the ocean to find food. By December, the whole family is ready to go. Penguin Parade. There are 17 different species or different kinds of penguins. The fairy, the Galapagos, the snares, the rock hopper, the yellow-eyed, um, ma magnetic, the African, the erect crested, and the fiord land. My favorite is the rock hopper because he's got yellow feather like things up on his front. And then macaronis and all the others too. The largest is the emperor that we were just talking about. Penguin play. Here's our rock hopper. They can hop up to five foot. That's almost as tall as me. Life isn't always easy for penguins, but at least they look like they're having fun. And then here's a few extra pictures from um, the story about how they huddle in colonies, how they have special barbs um, to eat, where they live always along the coast, but always in the southern hemisphere, way below the equator. Um, and they have really cool feet called webbed feet. And then here's some of the marine animals that kind of go after them. So life as a penguin isn't always so easy, but it's different. Thanks for learning about them with me. Stay warm.